TV KPM. Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. You are with me, Irfan Shami, and now we are watching Mahe at Diet TV KPM. All right, for today's episode, before we proceed, I just want to wish all the best to the SPM candidates who are sitting for the third examination today. But Always remember to take care of the ace of peace, sanitize your hand regularly, and wear a face mask whenever you are out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, before we proceed, what is the subject for today? You want to take a guess? Okay, we're going to learn English. Ah, English, that's very interesting. But what is the theme for today? Hmm, the theme for today is consumerism and financial awareness. I must say I'm very interested with this uh, topic because we're going to learn how to spend our money wisely, how to save our money, so on and so forth. Hmm. But before we, we call the teacher, you want to take a guess. Is it a male teacher or a female teacher? Let's take a look at the profile video. Let's go. Ta-da! So this is the teacher for today. Welcome, teacher, to Didet TV. How are you? Hi, Irfan. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. It's nice to have you here with Thank me today. Thank you so much. And to those students who are watching me from this house, mm -hmm. nice to have you all here watching me. Yes. Everyone is watching you right now, teacher. Ah, yes. All the whole Malaysia. Thank you. Okay, teacher. Uh, I heard that we're going to learn on the uh, consumerism and financial awareness. So can you explain more on that? Well, you know the team is financial and... Uh, sorry, you know the team is consumerism yes. and financial awareness. Mm -hmm. But the topic for today is money and shopping. Money and shopping. Mm, doesn't it relate to each other? Yes, exactly, mm -hmm. Irfan. What comes in your mind when I, I tell the word money? That's very easy. The first thing came out to my mind is shopping. That's true. Mm -hmm. Tell me who doesn't like shopping? No, I bet everyone loves shopping, including you, right, teacher? Uh, yes, mm -hmm. true, Irfan. So, what we're going to do today is uh -huh. we are going to have some activities related to money and shopping. I see. Teacher, I can see there's a lot of money here and there's something behind it. So, what are we going to do right now? Okay, the first activity for today is I'm going to give you 100,000. 100,000? Hmm, that means I'm rich. Yeah, exactly, <sighs> Irfan. I am a millionaire right now, but not yet. This is 100,000 ringgit only. That's oh, true. Okay. So, mm -hmm. I'm going to give you the 100,000 mm -hmm. and I'm going to give you some choices to pick from here okay. on spending the money. I see. Okay. So I have this money yes. and I can choose whatever I want to buy with this money. Exactly. Hmm. So I'm going to show you the choices. Okay. okay. What is the first thing right there, Tisha? You have here the latest iPhone, which latest will cost iPhone. you RM5,000. 5,000 5, ringgit for yes. this latest iPhone. Yes. The next stop is... Yeah, you can own a super bike, mm -hmm. which will cost you RM80,000. 80,000 for the super bike. That's... This is my dream motorbike. This is what I want. Sure, you can have it okay. because you have the 100,000, right, right, remember? Right, right, okay, okay teacher. Mm -hmm. Or you can go for a fun holiday. Uh -huh. you, you can spend 20,000 on overseas holiday. I see. So I can go to Paris with 20,000 ringgit spent on it, right? Sure. Okay, what is the next thing I have here? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure you can also own a luxury condominium mm -hmm. by just paying around 20,000 of down payment. 20,000 for the down payment of luxury condominium. That's, That's true. Affordable. Okay, okay. And what is finally, the last thing? Mm -hmm. you have your new luxury house. Okay. Which you just have to pay around 30,000 of down payment. Wow. This looks amazing. I mean, look at this house, man. This is interesting and amazing. Okay. So, can I make the decision right now? Yeah, sure. So, now, mm -hmm. I'm going to give this 100,000 with you. Okay. And I'm going to ask you to make the 
choices. You're I going see. to place the money okay. on which of these items you're going to pick on. I see. Okay, teacher. Ah, the motorbike is falling down. Yeah, okay. okay. So, all right. I can use this money to buy anything I want. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we have uh, 20,000 20, ringgit here, 10 ringgit and 5,000 ringgit here. So, which one should I buy first? Do you want to take a guess? Okay. The first thing I want to buy is, of course, my dream super bike. Yeah. So, I want to put 80,000 to 20,000, uh, 40,000, 60,000, and Eight, also 20,000. 80,000 sold to me. I got this motorbike teacher. So, yes. out of 100,000, mm -hmm. you have used your 80,000. So, oh you have God. remaining of 20,000. What are you going to do with the 20,000? I only have 20,000 right now. What should I do with it? Mm, okay. Because I don't have the latest iPhone and I really want it because my friend, they all have it. I mean, who doesn't want the latest iPhone, right? Yeah. Okay, teacher. So, I'm going to buy the latest iPhone with 1,000, 2, 3, 4, 5. Mm -hmm. 5,000 for the latest iPhone. All right. Is that okay? So, you still have remaining of? Okay. All right. Five? 15. 15,000 left. Okay. Mm -hmm. You have your 5,000 here okay. and you have your 10,000 here. Yes. So you have remaining of 15,000. 15,000 left, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. So are you going to use it or are you going to save it? Okay, teacher. Looking at my investment just now, um, I think I'm going to save a bit. Save a bit. Because this is um, a very good arrangement when you spend some money and you save it some. For your future. Ah. Is, that, is that wise to do, teacher? Very good decision, uh, Irfan. Very good so decision. So you have spent 80,000 on getting okay. your superbike and the other 5,000 right. to get your latest iPhone. I see. And you have remaining 15,000 mm -hmm. in your account. Okay, you have yes. it in your bank account. I see. So I still have 15,000 left in my bank account, which yes. I can use for my future. Later on. Ah. That's true. So, mm -hmm. what do you learn from this segment? What I learned from this segment is that whenever you want to buy something, please spend your money wisely. That's Correct. That's true. And please save your money for your future users. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, okay, yeah. do you have anything else that you want to say about saving the money? Okay. No. I believe that your students also prepared then they also played this game, right? Yes. So, let's take a look at their video. I will spend my money on buying three luxury condominiums which cost me 60000 and rent them to others so I can have extra income every month. I would like to go for overseas holiday, which is around 20000 because I want to learn more about other places and I will use the rest of my money for my education. I would go on a holiday overseas because I've always dreamed of travelling around the world and I will use the rest of the money for emergency purposes. I would like to buy a new bungalow house which costs RM30,000 down payment because the value of the house will increase and it will be an investment for me. I will be buying a latest iPhone which costs RM5,000 and I would like to save the balance for a rainy day. If I get RM100,000, I will buy a super bike because riding a bike is fun and it reduces petroleum consumption. Moreover, it is good for the environment. Wow, that's amazing, teacher. Your students know how to spend their money wisely. Yeah, exactly. That's because you're teaching them. Not ah. really. <laughs> I think they are really smart. Okay, Tish, before we go further, I would like to ask you, what are the criteria to look into before we buy anything? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what I'm going to tell you. Okay. 
always be a smart consumer. Smart consumer, okay. Yes, so you have to know when to spend your money. Where to spend your money. On what you're going to spend. I see. Knowing your needs and wants. Needs and wants. You have to distinguish to that, yeah? Yes. Okay. So now, mm -hmm. I'm going to give you five tips five on tips. being a smart consumer. I'm very excited to know this tip because I believe everyone must have these tips in their mind before purchasing anything. So, exactly. let's go the first one. Alright, mm -hmm. so now, the first tip is buy only what you need. Okay, can you... Ah, yes. So, the first thing is... Buy mm -hmm. what you need. Only buy what you need and exactly. not what you want, right? Exactly. Okay. So, knowing your needs and wants will okay. help you to purchase the things in your mall or in a shopping centre. Teacher, can you explain a bit what is the difference between needs and wants? Okay, mm -hmm. needs are something that you need it daily. Okay. It's necessary. For example, food, it's necessary. You have yes. to spend on it. Wherever, for, uh, for the uh, wants, uh, you have to remember, we all have a wish. We yes. want to have a big house, we want to have a new model of car, mm -hmm. we want to have a new model of superbike, just like how Irfan chose That's to. That's my dream. Yes. <laughs> so, that are those wants. So, I we see. can limit our wants and focus on our needs. Alright. Okay, what is the next tips you have here? Yes, always be smart. Always try to compare the prices. Ah. So, this will help you to save a lot of money. Go out there and do some research on the prices. All right. Can you move to the next tip, teacher? All right. The next one is, don't buy for the wrong reasons. Don't buy for the wrong reason. Yes. This is important, right, teacher? Exactly. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that in our culture, we are always going. We always go after the sales and also yes. discounts. So avoid going after the sales and discounts. All right, teacher. The next one, please. Spend. Within your budget. budget. Okay, this yeah. is the fourth tip. And the fifth one should be... Researching before buying. Researching. This is also a vital thing to do before, yeah? Yes. Mm -hmm. Go around and get to know about your product and the price. Alright, thank you so much, DJ, for your explanation. We'll take a short break and we'll come back later. See ya. Thank you. Welcome back to our show today. So, teacher, we have learned how yes, to spend our money wisely yes. and to use our money very in very good way. So, exactly. what do we have right now? I can see there's a lot of things here. There's fruit, there's also biscuits. Yeah. Yes, Irfan. Okay. The second activity is going to be a role play. Role so, play? Yes. We're going to act some stuff, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, we have set up here two stalls. Okay, okay, we have the crazy stall and we have the fancy stall. Fancy stall and crazy stall. Exactly. That's so interesting. Yeah, so you can see a lot of items. Okay. We have uh, biscuits, we have groundnuts, we have oranges, Ooh, we have mangoes. Hungry. Yes. Can so, I eat those? No, oh, not, not now. Really. Okay, okay. Not now. Okay. So let us try to role play. Okay. So mm -hmm. I'm going to be the shopkeeper. The shopkeeper is right here. Yes, and you are going to be the... Customer. Exactly. And this is my power to use my money and buy everything I want. That's true. I hope you have prior experience yeah. of going to the stalls. Okay. Okay, so what are we going to do now? All right. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, are you ready, Irfan, for the role play? I'm ready for the role play. Let's do this. Okay, so come. The count of one, two, three. Okay, okay. Hi. Hi. How can I help you, sir? Alright, so for today, I have some money with me and I want to buy some mangoes. Mangoes? Mm -hmm. Well, we have mangoes from Australia and we have mangoes from our own country, the mangoes local fruits. Mangoes from Australia and mangoes from our country. Yes. Okay. So, those mangoes 
from Australia mm -hmm. will cost you RM4 per kilo. RM4 per kilo. Meanwhile, our yeah. local mangoes mm -hmm. only will cost you RM3. Right? Yes, 3, three ringgit okay. 50 cents, cents okay. per kilo. I see. So, hmm, which one should I buy, ladies and gentlemen? The imported ones or the local ones? Hmm. Let's see my. Let's check my money first. Oh, I do have money. I do have money. Okay. Good. So, uh, I would like to buy the imported ones from the Australia. The imported yeah. one. Why your choices is about the imported mangoes? Because you know the imported goods are very good in quality. Uh, it also goes in taste as well. That is what my friend been telling me before. All right, but it's going to be quite expensive, sir. Yeah, but I do have money. I don't care about the price. Are you sure, sir? Uh, you're making me doubting myself. But now I believe I still want the imported ones. Can I do that? Sure, no right. problem. Mm -hmm. So you're going for the Australian yes. mangoes. I'm going to pack for you now. Okay, so this is the four ringgit. Thank you. Welcome. So. See you again. Bye bye. Please come again to my stalls. All right. Thank you so much. Welcome. Okay. So that's the first role play. Maybe can you explain a bit uh, to the audience what is happening here? Yes, students. Now we had two, we had two stalls here, mm -hmm. and these two stalls they have the same products but with okay. different prices. I see. So Irfan had the choice going for the Australian mangoes. Meanwhile, ah. we also had the local. Products. Products. Okay. So remember, always go for our local products. They are also as good as the imported ones. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, that was just a role play. Of course, our local product is the best quality. But that was just a play within me and this teacher. Okay? Yes. All right. So what are we going to do next, teacher? All right. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you a basket here. Okay. Wow. I do and you are basket. going to shop whatever you want from the stalls. Okay, so I can make my choices right now. Yeah, exactly. Right. You can have whatever you want from the store. Okay, so I will like go slowly and take everything that I want. Okay. Mm -hmm. da -da -da -da. Should I buy? Should I buy orange? It's your choice. Okay, okay. So there's two stores here. Which one should I choose? Um, okay, so we can see the price comparison. Because this is three ringgit per kilo, and that is two ringgit fifty cent per kilo. Yes. And of course, I will take the cheap one. Come on, guys, that is easy. You have to take with the lower price. And the next thing I want to buy is, uh, all right, okay, this one is two ringgit, and that one is two fifty. I will take the two ringgit one. All right, Irfan, are you done with the shopping? Yes, I'm. I think I'm done with the shopping. Okay. So, yeah. what is in your basket? In my basket is some biscuits here, and also there are groundnuts. Ah, a pack of groundnuts. So you have a packet of biscuits and you have a packet of groundnuts. Correct. Okay. Uh, did you compare the prices before you buy this? Yes, that's what exactly I did just now. I compared the price first before I bought it. Great. So, do you think worth of buying the biscuits and groundnuts from the shop? Yeah, I think it's worth it because the price is quite lower from the other shop. Did you take time to decide on what you want? I did that, yes. So what do you learn from this role play? So what I learned from this role play is that whenever you want to buy something, please take your time and also uh, compare the price before you decide it. And one more mm -hmm. important point, always knowing your needs and once. Ah, Good. you have to dis distinguish that beforehand, all right? Yes. Okay, so are we done with the role play? Yeah, done. Okay. So what are we going to do next? We are going to watch what my... Okay, all right. Before we, um, before we go into the video, right, I want to yeah. ask you a question. Yeah. Do you think that our Malaysia know their right as a consumer? Okay, so you want me to teach them the rights of the consumer? A little bit, ah, because they want to know if... If I can buy this, they want to buy that also, right? Yes. So, tell them a bit. Yes. Uh, what's your right of being a consumer? Mm -hmm. I'm sure that all of us used to go to grocery shops. Am I right? Correct. So, if you want to buy a loaf of bread, what do you normally do? Because, of course, 
you will normally try uh, check the expiry date, check the, the price and also uh, check the the brand also halal or non halal for muslim ah, great just like that. so the most important thing is the expiry date date mm -hmm. okay so let's say if the shopkeeper okay okay sells you the expired date what are you going to do i'm just going to go straight to the uh, shopkeeper and this is expired and i will return that to him mm. good so that is your <laughs> right of being a Consumer. consumer that's great ladies and gentlemen so we have learned uh, how to be a great consumer and now we will watch a video of your students playing this uh, game as well where they will choose the products that they will buy because they know how to compare the price and so on so let us take a look Cost you RM6. Oh, that's very expensive. Can you please reduce the price? Sir, I think that's a reasonable price. Okay, please give me two kilos of beans. Do you have a packet of soya milk? Yes, we do. May I know the price for a packet of soya milk? A packet of soya milk costs you RM24. Do you want to add it into your list? Yes, you may. But let me see the expiry date. Please go ahead. Oh! The soya milk has expired. Please check the expiry date. The soya milk has expired on 25th December 2020. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize it has expired. Please let me get you a new one. Okay. May I know the price for 2 kilos of beans and a packet of soya milk? The price for 2 kilos of bean and a packet of soya milk are RM36. Here's RM50. Here's your grocery. And here's your change sir. A balance of our coffee. Thank you. You're welcome. Please do come again. Yes. Alright, we can see that your students know how to purchase correctly and wisely. I mean, they are all smart students, right, teacher? That's, That's true. your students. <laughs> I see. Okay, so before we proceed, I would like to ask you two questions. So mm. the first one, um, how important is the grocery list uh, before we buy anything? Okay, uh, before you go for a shopping, uh, you have to have your shopping list. Shopping list, okay. Yes, make sure that you know what you really need okay. in the shopping list. List them down nicely uh -huh. and bring enough money to okay. the shopping malls or to the shop. I so see. So you will not overspend on it and you won't have the impulse buying. All right, thank you, teacher. So for the second question, what is the best practice uh, for you uh, to compare prices? Mm -hmm. All right. To compare prices, we always have the habit of going into one shop and okay. buy all the things and without uh, going out there and look for different shop, shops for the prices. Uh -huh. like for example, if I want to buy a, a packet of biscuits, okay. I cannot just go to one shop 
and grab it without knowing the differences from the other shops. True, true. You have to compare first to get the yeah. best price in town. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you so much, teacher. Let's take a short break and we'll come back after this. Welcome back to our show, Mahe at Didit TV. All right, teacher, what are we have here? Okay, this is going to be our third activity. Third activity? Wow, yes. so fast. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So you're going to play a board game. A board game, that's exactly. interesting. Huh? So I'm mm -hmm. sure you are very used to okay. board yes, games. Yes, I used to play this when I was, you know, 10 or 11. <laughs> exactly, but now we are so into our online games, am I, I right? See. This is like snake ladder, right? It's the same Ex thing? Exactly. exactly, similar to it, oh, but okay. it's focusing more on the language side. On the language side, alright yeah. teacher. So, so now, mm -hmm. shall we start playing? Are we? Uh, how are we going to play this game? Alright, uh -huh. I'm going to roll the dice. Roll the dice, okay. Okay, and you are going to put the pin by moving to the number that based on the dice. I see, and I have to answer question is anything there, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. you should answer the question. Okay, should okay. answer. You read the question and you answer it. Okay, so, are you ready now? Teacher, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, let's play this. Alright, okay. let's roll the dice. Okay, sure. Okay. You have oh. 12 there. 12? So, yeah. let us start counting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yes. Mm -hmm. so, That's your pin. This is my pin and I put this on. Okay. So, okay. Let's read out the question. The question is, where can you buy medicines? Of course, you can buy medicine at clinics or pharmacies. Excellent. Yes. So, you can buy medicines in the... Premacy or clinic. Yes. Okay. All right. All right. So the next thing. Yep. I'm going to throw the dice again now. Okay. Okay. Mm. It's a total of five. Five. So from here, I move five more. Yes. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five. All right. Now mm -hmm. you are going to read the question. Ask for this shirt. So. Teacher, yes. the question is, can I have an M size of blue shirt? Excellent. So, <laughs> if you go to a shop, uh -huh. you have to ask for the right size Correct. for your shirt. For, for my shirt, because yeah, of course, I usually wear M, so that's why I'm asking for M, the M size, size shirts. Okay. Good. So, I'm going to roll the dice again. Let's see what number it is. It's going to be six. Six. Okay, yeah. teacher, why don't you play with me as well? So. Ah, uh, this is your thumbnail, okay? Come back and so play with me. All Starting. right. Step so it's going to be on six. six. Ah, All right. Okay. Let's look at the question. Mm -hmm. How much? Look at the picture. Mm -hmm. There are two. What is this? Pass. Yeah. Ah. So how much are the pass? Pass. Oh, see. So there's two pairs right there. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Shall we roll the dice again? Teacher, yes. what is the difference between is and are? Alright, mm -hmm. is is commonly used for singular nouns. Singular nouns. And are normally used for plural nouns. I see. So when there's one pair, we use is. is. Ah, yes. I see. I, I got it right now. When okay. we have more than mm -hmm. one, okay. we use ah. are. That's right. amazing. Okay, you want to play it again or should... It be my turn. Okay. Okay, my turn. Let's give it to you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's roll the dice. Yep. Huh. Eleven. Okay, where are you? All right. Okay. This is me. So, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right. Let's read the question. So, the question is give an example of why you might call yourself yes, a saver or a spender. Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you know what is the meaning of saver? 
Can you explain a bit, teacher? Okay, a mm -hmm. saver is someone who loves to save money. I see. Meanwhile, spender mm -hmm. is someone who loves to spend money. Ah, so, so are I... you a saver or a spender? I believe right now my current state is a spender. I used to to buy many things out there. I love to buy new stuff such as the latest iPhone. Hmm. All right, Irfan. That means you have to try to change your habit. Oh my God! You should not, not be a spender. Ah. You, know, you have to try to be a saver. I see. I see. Thank you so much for yes. the reminder, teacher. Okay, teacher. It's your turn right now. Sure. Mm -hmm. I roll this for you. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Let's roll it. So, what's the number? Nine. Nine. Yes. Okay, blue is mine. Mm -hmm. Going to move one, one two, two, three, three four, four, five, five six, six, seven, eight. eight. So, I'm going back to the start. That's nine, teacher. Not oh, nine. Eight. Oh, yes. oh, sorry, nine. Uh, so. Learn shit, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Name five things, things you, you can, can buy, buy in, in a supermarket. Okay, I give you three seconds. So, in three, two, one, five things. So number All one. Right, so I'm going to buy a packet of biscuits, uh, a packet of sugar. Okay. I'm going to buy uh, some oranges. I'm going to buy some apples. Uh -huh. And also I'm going to buy a, a can of. Uh, can of. A uh, condensed milk. I see. That is for your kitchen, right, teacher? Yes. You love cooking, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> okay, teacher. So let's play. The other round, but using only one dice. Is that okay? Sure. Okay, so I'm gonna play this. Maybe you can roll it for me? Sure, I'm and gonna roll it. Let's see. How much I got? It's one. It's one, okay. From nine to ten. Boom. The question is what, what do, do you find fun? hard to resist spending money on? Yes. I. I have difficult times to, um, you know, to spend money on food because I love food. So, so I. So you are a foodie? I'm a foodie. <laughs> when I see the foods in Pasar Malam, for example, I would love to buy everything. So you like to go to yes. the night markets? Correct, correct. All right. So, me too. I love food. You love food? What kind of food you love, teacher? Definitely, a Malaysian food. Nasi lemak, nasi ayam. Yes, a truly local a Malaysian. Okay. Yes. Maybe I can roll it for you for your last round. Maybe, perhaps? Sure. Okay. Okay, all right. It's four. It's four. Yep. Okay. So, where's mine? You are the blue one, blue. right? Okay. Oh, okay. One, one, two, two three, three, four. Go, Go back, back two spaces. One, two. two. Ah, okay. So, now, it's the same question. I am the shopkeeper. So, how would you love to ask me the question? Hmm. Excuse me, sir. Yes? I would like to purchase a shirt. You want to buy a shirt? What size is that? I would like to go for a L size. L size shirt? Yes. Hold on, yeah? I will find it for you. This is your shirt. Ah. Oh, thank you very much. But unfortunately, what? I would like to have a different color. Different color? No yeah. worries. We have everything for you right Can I here. have a blue instead of a red? Okay, hold on, yeah? Yeah. I'm checking the stock first. This is the color that you want. Thank ah. you. <laughs> okay. All right, so you love uh, the color you, you have right now? Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. My dad is going to love it. I'm buying this for my dad. I see. Teacher, teacher, I want to ask you, can I be a salesperson right now? Maybe, you know, did I did a good job? Yeah, you have that characteristic. Yeah, so I can be a salesperson. Okay. Yeah. All right, teacher, let's go for a few more rounds. Is that okay? Sure. Okay, so this is my turn, right? Okay. All right, so... The number is three. Three. Let's move uh, four for three. So one, two, three. Mm. The question is very interesting. Can you read the question, please, teacher? Yes. Why might it be worthwhile to keep a coin box? Why might it be worthwhile to keep a coin box? Of course, it is to save your money. Exactly. Ah. So, if you have a coin box, you can save a lot for your future. Right. And as a uh, high school students, we cannot have our bank accounts yet. So what you can do is having your own coin box. Is That's that... true. Okay, That's teacher. true. Mm -hmm. So let's move to the next question. It's your yeah. turn. My turn. Okay, do I? Okay. Okay. I'll do it for you. No. Sure. Ah, uh, it's one. 
steps once. I'm yeah. going to move from 17 to okay. 18. The question do is, compare? do you compare the price before buying? What is your answer to this? Definitely. I will. I will compare the prices before buying my items or things. I see. So, usually go to how many stores be comparing the prices? Mm, mm. Normally to those nearby uh, to the shop that I have entered. I so see. So, probably for one or two. One or two. Okay, yes. okay. All right. I'm very excited with this game and we'll play more. Is that okay? Sure. Okay. So, this is my turn. I'm giving you to roll the dice for me. Sure. Mm -hmm. So, I'm throwing the dice. It's three. Three. This is mine, right? Yeah. So one, two, and three. Ah. So, you are mm. going to complete the sentence. At the end of the month, the money I have not spent is... This question is very hard because I love to spend my money. But we have been talking about this from the beginning of the show. I see. Okay, okay, okay. So, at the end of the month, the money I have not spent is uh, saved. Yes. 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 It's your say? Saving. Saving. Good. So, who's going to roll the dice now? I will uh, dice it for you. No worries. Okay. This is... Uh, the number is four. I All give right. four. So, am I going to move? Of course. <laughs> so, again, yeah. it's going to be one, one two, two, three, three four, four. One. Four, four, four. It's four, four, it's four. four. Okay, okay. We are at the same place. <laughs> okay, okay, it's okay. I'm going to roll the dice again because we have Already the same answered. Question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're going to repeat the question. So, three. All right. So, I'm going to move again. Yeah. One, one two, two. Three. It's the same question. Okay, let us ask a question that uh, hasn't has hasn't been answered yet. Sure. Okay, so the question is. Why not you give yeah. me one good reason to save money? I give one reason to yeah. save money. Yeah. Of course, it's for my future education. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So those students out there also have to save their money for their further edu. I see. All right, thank you so much, teacher, for playing this game with me. It was sure. very fun and enjoyable with you. Thank you. And we'll take a short break and I'll see you after this. You are back with me, Irfan, and teacher. Uh, as the show is going gone, so what are we going to do right now? All right, mm -hmm. we have been talking a lot about saving. Saving, so, of course. What do you need to save your money? What do I need to save my money? Yeah. Um, a PG bank. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so, uh, you. It's not necessary for you to go out and buy a piggy bank piggy or bank. a coin box. Actually, you can use the recycled materials to mm -hmm. do your own coin box. I so, see. today we are going to see how to make our own coin box. Ah, that's interesting. So, I will have my own coin box, isn't it, teacher? Exactly. All right. So, mm -hmm. can we check what are the things that we need? Okay, first thing first, what do we have here? Okay, so you need some empty cans, okay? Empty cans. So, I have here one, mm -hmm. and also Irfan has one empty can. This is for me. Yep, mm -hmm. okay. And then you need glue. Glue. Colourful papers. Colourful papers. And a knife cutter. I see. Glue. Okay. And uh, I think if you need extra uh, things to decorate your coin box, uh -huh. you can have it with you. I see. Such as, teacher? Like stickers. Uh, you can even use your pen to draw ah, the pictures that you maybe, would like to. Yeah, maybe like to put your wish or something on that, right? Yes. Okay, teacher. So, um, are we going to 
start right now? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. So, firstly, what you're going to do is please take out the lid from the empty can. Okay, I'll do that as well, right? Yeah. Okay, so put the lid off first. So, you look at here, you have the papers. Okay, the for paper. you, I've given you the wrapping paper. This is amazing. And I'm having a colourful paper. I see. Okay, so, so what do we do with this? Okay, so we are going to cover the surface of the can with ah. the paper. Okay, it's either the colour paper or the wrapping paper. Okay. So, what you need is you have to cover the surface of the can with some glue just like this. Okay. All right. Or you can even apply it on the paper itself. I see, I see. So, I'm going to do mm -hmm. like this. Would you like to join me too? Yes, yes. Can I have the glue with me, teacher? Sure. So, I'm going to give this to you. Okay. And try to do. All right. Okay. So, this is my glue and I'll apply it on the coin box. Okay. Yeah. Later All on. All right. So, this is how you apply this. Yeah. So, spread thoroughly, right, like, teacher? Exactly. Mm, okay, spread it thoroughly. evenly, nicely, so that the papers can stick on the surface of the can. I see. So, okay. now, All right. going to cover the surface of the can with the colour paper. Is it an art class, teacher? <laughs> Not really. Not really. But, but we are English, yeah. learning English in a fun way, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, we are going to know that okay. we can do our own Coin, coin box. box. Okay. okay. So I'm go, done with the glue. You so don't have to go for a expensive piggy box. <laughs> Correct. Yes. Let's because the market is out there is quite expensive for the piggy bank, right? So yes. we do it by our own. No worries. So you can just apply it okay. evenly, nicely, neatly cover the okay. surface. Okay. So teacher. I'm done. Teacher, can you help me, please? Sure. Just a moment. Okay, so I'm okay. just like going to. Push those extra oh, okay. in so that it looks neat I and see. nice. All right. So, so you have to a... make it neat, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So you can apply some glue too. Okay. If you want. Okay. To push uh -huh. all those papers in. I see. All right. So I'm pushing it nicely in. Yes. Okay, students out there, don't forget to follow us and do it by yourself at your home because this is very fun and very easy to do. So, okay. don't miss out. Alright? So, you just have to leave it dry first. Okay, leave okay? it dry first. So, once you leave it dry, okay, okay, you can also decorate the surface teacher, of the... Teacher, help me first. Oh, I, okay. I haven't done mine. So, okay. okay, are you done mm -hmm. with this? So, we just roll it, right? Yeah, just okay. roll it. Ooh, okay, nice. Make it nice and slow and steady. Yeah, if you have extras, you can mm -hmm. just cut it off if you wish. I see, okay. So, if no, you mm -hmm. can just roll it, roll it roll nicely. It, roll it, <laughs> roll it, roll it. Okay. Okay, so make sure that you apply the, the glue. glue. Okay. Because you don't want the paper to fall off, right? Of yeah, course. exactly. Mm -hmm. So, now okay. we are done. We are done. And then we are going to. Fold it yes, in fold nicely. Yes, fold it in nicely, slowly. Yeah. Okay. Just make sure it's nicely folded. Okay. Should in. I uh, apply the glue as well? Yeah, sure. Okay. okay. I'll do it myself. I'm a student, so I should be doing this great. Okay. Hold on. All right. Just step it in, right? Yes. Okay. So, mm -hmm. once you already apply the glue, okay. Okay. Once you already cover the surface of the can, okay. With it, wrapping paper or the colourful paper. Yes. Okay, for like this, there's nothing on it. Nothing on it. It's so, look plain. Yeah, so mm -hmm. you can even draw using your marker, marker pen. pen. Okay, so, so you can write, are you going to say, for save? example, ah. or you can even draw pictures, like flowers. Okay. Okay, so you just decorate the coin box as you like. As you okay? like. Okay, can so I... Here, Picture. Uh, excuse me. Can I like put like my future yeah, sure. wording out there? Oh, sure. You can may. I try? Sure. Okay. So here, if you look, this student. Mm -hmm. Uh, she's my student, Varshini. What she has done here is she has, uh, draw some leaves and flowers. So it looks very attractive. Yes, that looks very nice, teacher. Okay. So you done with the yes. can? My future. Ah, this is where when I use this money for my future education and my, my future living. Mm -hmm. Alright. So okay. don't forget the lid. So you the have lead. to do the 
hole. The hole. Yeah. Okay. okay, okay, okay this okay, is okay. the place where you're going to drop your coins. So on the lid, you're going to do a hole in a rectangular shape. Rectangle shape. Yes. Okay. So, so what are we use using? The ah, but remember, students out there, cutter. please be careful when you are using the the cutter. Please of uh, take care of yourself, yeah, because you don't want to cut yourself. Please have your parent supervision as well. Okay. Yeah, that's true. All right. So, mm -hmm. Irfan, are you going to cut that? Yes, yes. I give me a try. Okay. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Be careful with your hands. All right. So. See it? Okay. So you have to do the hole nicely. Like okay. This. So make it a rectangle shape. Yes. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Can you? Okay. Do you need any help, Irfan? Yeah, teacher. This is quite difficult for me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, I have done for you one. Alright. Yeah, so, students out there, this is a very sharp object. So, please be careful, right, teacher? Yes. Mm -hmm. And you should not point to me like this. So, that's mm -hmm. very okay, sharp. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, now, so I have some uh, of the leads that already made the wow. hole. Wow. Oh, this is how it looks like. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So now you're going to cover your coin box okay. with the lid. With the lid. Oh. All right. So just like that. I see. You just have to press it nicely. All right. Okay. And then the other lid, I'm going to use it for mine. Okay. So once you're done, actually mm -hmm. we have to leave it to dry off. Leave first. it to dry off first. Yes. Okay, teacher. So, so we have done with our project. Can you show some of the example? It looks very nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So here, this boy, wow. not sure. He has used the plastic bottle and he turned it into a coin box. So remember, your recycled materials can be used as a coin box. box. And see. he's so creative that it looks like a Every... to toy arrow play. play. I see. Isn't it beautiful? Yes, of course. It looks amazing, splendid. Yeah, teacher. So, what is the next one? It looks like a polka dot. Okay, polka yeah. Dot. So, <laughs> boys love more, uh, more like aeroplanes, cars. They they love to shape it into uh, something that's very mechanical. I see. All right. So, meanwhile, the girls they love something very fancy. I so, see. this is made by one of my female student, mm -hmm. and she has uh, decorated a coin box such a way that it's very colourful right. and she has stick the word safe. Okay, thank you teacher. So, thank you so much for being with me today. Uh, it has been a fun journey with you learning English. It has been a wonderful day with you today. So, thank, thank you. you so much for teaching us English. And to those out there, please don't forget to watch us tomorrow at 2 until 3 p.m. at the same time. Till then, stay safe and bye-bye! Bye! We are studying at SMK Raja Mahadi. I am 14 years old and I am 15 years old. Today, I and my sister are going to work out in this dual reading challenge. Let's scroll into the challenge. Hey, Kalpana, do you have any idea about why can we change its color? Some reasons such as this chameleon change their color depending on what it feels like. Some change their brightest color so that they can attract the meat or they can show the enemies that they are ready to fight or they are angry. Wow, that's a really interesting fact. Thank you anyway. Welcome. not respect somebody or something by showing their expression in their face or by speaking or talking to them. Oh, it's clear enough. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Well, as you see, there are three main benefits when you are reading. 
First, you can strengthen your brain. You can also build a better vocabulary and also increase your empathy. Thank you very much for watching this video. Stay home, stay safe and keep reading. Dedek TV KPM